Welcome to Anime Watch Anime, Nick Pick Edition, the bi-weekly segment where we react, rate, and review any random anime that Nick has chosen for your viewing pleasure. I'm Zach, joining me as always is my good buddy Travis. Travis. And the incomparable Nick. Wow, hello there. And today, what did you pick, Nick? Well, Queen's Blade, I thought was going to get a higher rating than what it was, so you disappointed me, Zach. Sorry. And for that, you must suffer. And that means Travis must suffer. Which means Iron Blood and Orphans Episode 2. Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, yeah, do you remember Biscuit? Yes, I remember Cookie and the Biscuit I've got a job. And I'm, st I'm really Cookie still crack! I'm still upset about that shit. Because the thing is, you go through a whole episode calling the dude Cookie, thinking like, this guy is, you know, f***ing big f***ing energy by name f***ing Cookie. And then you find out his name is Biscuit at the f***ing end and you're all like, you're, you're kind of f***ing disappointed in the character. They call him old man, no and I literally don't know his name right now. Let's call him, let's call him Cookie. You no, know let's call him Cookie. Is that good for you? Uh, no. Feedback from a mobile suit is a whole lot different than a mobile worker's. It could damage your cerebral nerves. It's all right. I mean, I never use them much anyway. Come on now. Yo, listen, Zach, if you go in this mobile Gundam, you'll never use your legs again. Of course my life Oh, it's fine. Walking's a hassle anyway. But not just... Remember in the first episode where the princess chick was walking up and said, like, I need to get the earth, I want to use these guys to do it, and then they were attacked? I don't remember that because I did I only watched That blonde is a princess. No. I remember. He remembers. Bullsh**. Bullsh**. Did they remember? Put in subtitles right here, right now. Bring the f***ing illusion. I'm watching this all over again. <laughs> well, I don't know what you're talking about. This is the first time I've seen this episode. It's like my third or fourth time, but my first time watching with you guys. You think you can win? Nope. Go ahead and skip the intro. Oh! Oh, I can skip the intro! Well, do what you want to do, Zach. Thank you. Which means we'll watch this next episode. That's episode. not what I want to do. Oh, man. We get the cover cut out, so this is the thing you want to do. For context, for context, Zach brought it up to Travis and I, we agreed with it. He said, yo, if you guys get some cardboard cutouts of YouTube being Nick, Nick, myself, and Travis, which he brought this up, remember, he brought it up, we were just like, all right, let's just do it. You will watch for a whole month. Love axes, Travis. Kiss exits for a whole month. Love axes. So he's the only one that's plugged in. You know how, like, he plugged in, he had that, like, orgasm spasm? Yeah. yeah, yeah. he's the only one, because it's an actual Gundam frame, that has that where you can plug in like that. Those guys can't do it. You basically gotta be part of the crew, part of the ship. Yeah. 
is that Gundam only works because of things. No, not these ones. And emotion, you need to be touched up. You're gonna be like the avatar. You'll be like, melt with me. Okay. Why is he screaming? He's in trouble, Yamaki. I forgot to refuel the mobile suit's thrusters. Oh, <laughs> obviously. Aren't you paying attention? No, that We see it in a second time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yo, can you, you add somewhere, like somewhere, it says anywhere randomly, Gundam ruins friendships. How would you do... If you were going shirtless, would you wear an ascot like that too? No. I, I don't know if I could do it. Is that why he's talking? He wears straps. Oh, he okay, wears the suspenders. Yeah, straps. Wear the suspenders. Straps. From. Smothered between huge boobs. <laughs> what? What? He and his friend agreed that they would die being smothered in between huge boobs. Goals that's right there. That's goals, that's goals. Yeah. Yeah. What to some people, this is art. To Who some people, I don't know. to some people, Zach, hey, this is sex. Ask any gun a fan of unicorn. Yeah, look at that pedo mustache. I thought you were joking. Their names really are Cookie and Cracker. You come out here now? Yeah. What the fuck? I have just been knocking up for a while watching this. You're fucking really? Are you serious? You didn't. I didn't hear their names. I thought when you said cookies and cracker, I thought that was a We're joke. Sorry, Atra. Kind of crazy right now. Sure. So, <laughs> so it's biscuit, <laughs> cookie, and cracker. Yes! Nick wasn't lying when we were watching the first episode. No! He said there was a character he, named he Cookie. Said, he said that. He said that in the first episode. He was all like, wait a minute. I don't think that guy's name's Cookie. I think that's Biscuit, and his sisters are Cookie and Cracker. And I'm like, Nick, you made your mind up! I mean, biscuits are basically what they call. What are you doing here? Like freaking make a delivery, huh? Oh, UK, yeah. UK. Yeah, but they're they're weird. What's up? Are we uh, everybody that watched this episode specifically is from the UK. They're gay. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, UK. We we are only joking. This, this chick, she, she just the look of her. She reminds me of a chick that would be in like a Johnny Sins like teacher security like porno. Before anybody else. Like he was laughing at me. Go on. You seem to be confused about a lot of stuff. Oh, that's Cookie and that's Cracker. Which one's Cookie? Which one's Cracker, though? The, the yeah, one I was laughing yeah. at was Cracker. You sure? Positive. Sure. Positive. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. What the fuck are you going on? Okay, I've seen worse. You know my best friend, my girlfriend. That's why he looks at Biscuit. And it's like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> might be our chat. What made you an orphan? What made you an orphan? In that case, so I underestimate them. I won't make that mistake twice. I won't fight kids, but I'm going out there to fight them right now. This tombstone's gonna read he made the same mistake twice. And I don't want to drag the rest of you down with There's a story behind that scar on his leg. Of course not. He got it from a bunch of kids. You ever see Freddy got them? Oh my god! The movie, Jesus! I want you to do something. Why don't you take this gun and shoot it's kinda... Oh, great. Earth got you down. There's plenty of space. Open space. Farweed and Bowdweed. Farweed and Bowdweed. Farweed and what? Bowdweed. Yeah, yeah, man, like Bowdweed. Pass it over, man. man. You're quite right. You should be allowed to do as you please. Well, then, this way. Take it, Bowdweed. I can't have it, Farweed. Farweed, Bowdweed. We gotta fight the enemy. Yeah, Look at my gun to Farweed, it says 420 on it! I'm only on Mars to check out our pot farm. <laughs> so that was the second episode of Iron-Blooded Orphans. Travis, can you explain the plot? Yeah. Cool. Simply. It leaves right. off from the last episode. Mm -hmm. There was a fight. They were trying to get a princess. Dude left because apparently he doesn't want to fight children. They disobeyed orders. They did Tur or he did? Terminal turmoil. Gungums! So why are you an orphan? Does it work for you? Um... From Nick, what Nick was saying, I'm gonna say yes. Because... Wow. It's really good how it like goes from episode to episode where it's the same. It's not of. in space. And I like that. 
I mean, technically it is in space, but I like the fact that, you know, it seems like this whole f***ing series is going to be grounded to just Mars. And... Nick? Oh, it works for me. The, I've seen the series twice. I'll probably go and watch it a third time. It's, as it goes for a whole, it's perfect for me. For a Gundam, this is probably my favorite Gundam. Which is hard, because I love Wing. But, with this part, like how it goes, I just like how it's continuity, where right when the episode, the first one, how Travis said it ended, where the Mikazuki popping through the ground, is right where it starts. So it's kind of the action still just going back to back. Well, it sucks for us, is because we'll probably have to wait until you guys watch 200 views for it. Maybe, unless I feel like it. Don't but, worry, the Gundam fans out there, they'll watch it. <laughs> they'll, watch. they'll watch it. The most important part, that's the most saddest part is uh, the little kid that was crushed in the first episode never got to die squashed between giant boobs. That was the saddest part. So I just, that's definitely a top five anime death. I guess it worked for me. I didn't love it though, but it was good. This is a good, this is a good start. I mean, there's three ups fingers. There's three yeses. Three ups fingers? He's three ups fingers. Uh, who's your favorite character, Travis? That's, that's a no brainer. Twonk? It's Biscuit. The Twonk? Biscuit's my favorite character, like in the first episode. He is a good character. Uh, Nick? Off this episode alone, I'm gonna go with, uh, the older captain. Of, uh, Which Gallagher. One? The older captain. The one that said, I don't want to fight kids. My favorite character is gonna be... Fari and Bowie. I can't pick both. Well, they're a joint. They're like twonks. Yeah, they're the, <laughs> they're the twonks they're, of Earth. They're a joint. They're a joint. <laughs> they're, a joint. <laughs> they're a joint. I'll go with the main guy. Mikazuki? Yeah. Call him in. <laughs> Please tell us our reason, your reasoning, Zach. Well, I don't have one. On a scale of one to five. <laughs> Bob Marley's? Sure. <laughs> I'm a scale of one to five Bob Marley's. Just because there was two characters that sound like they had weed in their name. Yes, they did. Fart weed. How would oh, you weed. rate this, Travis? Um. If he gives it a five, I'm gonna shit a break. <laughs> <laughs> I will say there are things in this that I liked a lot better. No space? Than most Gundams. Um. Perks, they didn't use guns. They did, but they minimized it. They, they, they minimized it, and I like that, because the thing is, I feel like guns make the thing go way too quick. Bullets cost money! Um, I like the setting a lot. The characters do seem interesting. Um, None of them are on hoverboards. Again, <laughs> on the Gundam! Again, we, I don't think we've seen, a, as Nick said, seen as much as them. Um, yeah, they, yeah. They've shown a lot of characters, you know? I, I, I like when an anime does do something bold like that, you know, gives a nice diverse of character. I'm going to give this a four. That's pretty good for Gundam. That's really good for Gundam, Travis. Travis. Yeah. That's, that's a, that might be the highest in the history of mechas. Uh, Nick? Picking me back off and, uh, or piggybacking off of what Travis said with uh, the characters. It's kind of like how you and Zach were talking earlier, how Fairy Tale does things, where they introduce all the characters and slowly will bring them in. Yeah. That's kind of like how this will go. You'll see more and more of all these characters. It's pretty, it's really good. Which makes me wonder if one of the people that helped create Fairy Tale is part of this. Justin Cook, let me see. I'm going to give it, I'll give it a four as well. I enjoy it, but this isn't one of my favorite episodes. Things really kick off. Later. I'm gonna give it a three. Yeah, figures. It was alright. Just to, I don't really have anything to complain about, but I don't really have anything to compliment either. But, Wait, would you watch it again? But it was not, I was slightly like above 2.5, so it's a three. Would I watch again? Only if I had to. Bet better than Unicorn? Yes. Thank God. Alright, so that was the second episode of Iron Blood of Orphans. 200 views. And we'll watch it in the future. But that's for next time. In the meantime, I'm Zach. Signing off as always with my good buddy Travis. Yeah, I'm here too. And being comfortable next. I'm not here. And we will see you guys next time. I forgot to tell them if you watch this episode, you'll get to that episode. And that, it's a rabbit hole of Nick picks. Thank you for watching. 
If you're not subscribed, be sure to do so by clicking here. If you are subscribed, we thank you for keeping the anime dream alive. Be sure to check out our other content here and here. For even more content, be sure to check out the rest of our channel and be sure to follow us on Twitter by clicking the link in the description below. I'm Felicia, and I'll see you next time.